today we will talk about tender shifts and stiff shifts now what are tender shifts shifts which have low gm This is the main deck, starboard side, port side of the ship, center line. This is the G, and this is the M. The vertical distance between G and M, that is GM, is low. As per Sulas regulations, we need minimum GM at least 0.15 meters. If you are loading with grain, then minimum G, GM required is 0.3 meters. The ships having low GM, they are called tender ships. Then tender shift GM might be something like 0.4 or 0.5 meters. What type of ships? Container ships. Any ships having deck cargo. Because when you have, have deck cargo, you load containers here or log, log carriers, anything on deck, the G moves up. So this is the new G. So the GM becomes less. So types of ship, container ships. And lock carriers, wood carriers, which are carrying deck cargo here. Yeah. Stiff ships are those which have a large GM. In this you will find bulk carriers because they don't have deck cargo. They have only cargo in the hold. And tankers, again no deck cargo. So here the GM might be much more than this could be 1 meter or even 2 meters. They are stiff ships. Now properties of tender ships and stiff ships. Tender ships, they have period of roll is large. So what is period of roll? It is the time taken when the ship rolls due to wind or waves on one side. So this ship rolls to starboard side and then back to upright, then to port and back to upright. So that total time is called period of roll. Then the ships, let's say she rolls to starboard. It takes let's say five seconds. Then back to port, 5 seconds to upright. From upright it goes to port side, again 5 seconds and then back to upright again 5 seconds. So total time is 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5. So 20 seconds is the period of roll. And stiff ships have a period of roll low, low period of roll. So <coughs> stiff ships might take 2 seconds. To roll from upright to starboard, two seconds to come back, again two seconds to go upright to port and two seconds to come back. So for them, <coughs> period of roll will be two plus two plus two plus two. Let's say eight seconds. So this is one of the properties of tender ships and stiff ships. The other property, when the tender ship rolls or heels, the angle of heel is large. So this is the angle of wheel. This is the center line. This is the new center line and this is the old center line. This center line is parallel to this and this angle is the angle of wheel. So this angle in tender shapes is large depending on the GM. Smaller the GM, the more large is the angle of wheel and the more period of roll is still larger. So in this case, you might get an angle of, let's say, 10 degrees to starboard, then upright, 10 degrees to port up. And for stiff ships, the angle of heel is small, let's say, 5 degrees, depending on the gear. So these are the properties of tender ship and stiff ships.